Hi, this is Dr. Groban. I'm the director of the Comprehensive Stroke Center at University of Alabama at Birmingham. The goal of the EMSA, or Emergency Medical Stroke Assessment, is to help healthcare providers more accurately identify stroke patients. In particular, it is designed to identify patients with large vessel occlusion who may be candidates for catheter-based endovascular therapy. This is fundamental because not all hospitals have the capability of treating patients with large vessel occlusion with catheter therapy. Only comprehensive stroke centers or level one stroke hospitals have the personnel and expertise to do this kind of therapy. The EMSA is designed to be brief, suitable for performance in emergency situations, and to have better accuracy compared to other pre-hospital stroke assessments. 80% of stroke is caused by a blocked vessel. 20% of the time, a vessel is broken, causing bleeding. In the case of a blocked vessel, we now have two proven therapies, but both are time sensitive. TPA, or tissue plasminogen activator, works by dissolving the clot and must be used within four and a half hours of stroke onset. Catheter-based therapies work by mechanically extracting the clot and work up to six hours. Clinical trials have shown that catheter-based therapy is superior to TPA alone in patients with large vessel occlusions. The EMSA has six items. In the following video, you will see first a normal assessment and then an abnormal assessment to give you an idea of how the EMSA is used in the clinical setting. I'd like to evaluate you for a possible stroke. Keep your head still and follow my finger with your eyes. Keep following. Good. For this step, we are testing eye movements. In particular, we are looking for abnormal gaze. It's helpful to stabilize the patient's head as shown. Then, move your finger slowly from one side to the other. Remember that the abnormal gaze can be extreme or may be very subtle. Both are counted as abnormal. I want you to hold your head very still, if you will. Please follow my finger with your eyes. Can you look to your right? Uh -uh. Can you look to your left? Good. Back to the center. Can you look at the center? Okay, good. Thank you. The next three items test motor strength. First, we test for facial weakness. The important thing to remember is that we are looking for asymmetry. Ask the patient to smile and show their teeth. Look for one side of the face to droop compared to the other. Please smile. Show me your teeth. Big smile. Thank you. Can you please smile real big for me? Show your teeth. Good. Thank you. Next, we test arm strength. Ask the patient to hold their hands straight out in front of them, palms up, and count slowly to 10. Again, we are looking for asymmetry. So only a clear difference between the arms is counted as abnormal. Please hold your hands straight out in front of you with your palms up and keep them there for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Good. Now I want to hold your arms straight out, palms up, for 10 seconds. Can you do that? Palms up, 10 seconds, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, thank you. Next, we test leg strength. Each leg is tested separately by holding the leg up 30 degrees for five seconds. Again, we are interested in asymmetry and only score the item as positive if one leg drifts down compared to the other. Please hold up your right leg to my hand and keep it there for five seconds. One, two, three, 
four, five. Good. Now do the same thing with your left leg up here and keep it there for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Hold up your right leg to my hand. Hold it for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now your left leg to my hand. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Thank you. Next we test speech and language. We are looking for either slurred speech or aphasia. We test with two items. First, have the patient name two objects, such as a watch or pen. You can also use other common objects, such as a phone, if you do not have a watch, for example. Then, have the patient repeat a sentence. We are looking for either slurred speech, abnormal words, or garbled, incomprehensible words. Also, if the patient is unable to speak at all, this is also considered abnormal. Please name these objects. What is this? A watch. Good. What is this? Pen. Good. Now I want you to name some familiar objects. What are these? That's a... Uh, Okay. What is this? Um, it's a, a gem. Okay. Thank you. Please repeat after me. They heard him speak on the radio last night. They heard him speak on the radio last night. Good. Please repeat. They heard him speak on the radio last night. That they ra 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 radio n not not. Okay. Thank you for your attention. I hope you've enjoyed the video and will be able to use what you have learned.